Hi everyone and welcome back to Positively Kimmy. I am Kimmy. If you are new here, thank you so much for coming. Please hit the like and subscribe button down below. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for not abandoning me because you already know your girl has abandonment issues, okay? So we are doing 30 days of palettes. So basically what I want to do is go through all my palettes, most of them, the 30 of them probably, since that would make the most sense. And I want to see what I reach for, what I don't reach for, if I'm going to keep them, if I'm going to declutter. The last one you saw me do just now was the Scarlet Dusk palette by Ace Beauté. That one I'm decluttering. It had, it, it just was patchy. So I, I didn't like that. I forgot to leave that at the end of the video. The other one so far that I'm getting rid of was my Anastasia Beverly Hills prism palette that was so powdery so incredibly powdery and I did not like that now I already have my base makeup on I primed my lids and we're going to do a palette that I absolutely love if I can find what I did with it uh -huh. my color pop and I had to have this I excuse me I have Aussies and my cat Takey or Storm where is he <laughs> Can you see him? Can you see him? There you go. Okay, that's Storm. I call him Cakey. Okay? So basically, uh, I'm doing the Gather Around Sisters by Hocus, po Hocus Pocus. <laughs> and this is the top. And this is the color story. It is everything I love. It's grungy. It's got purples, fuchsias, greens, golds. I mean, it's every single thing I'd like. My only problem with this palette is when I try to do a light look, it doesn't come out that way. I try, I try, and for some reason we just go full on lashes out to here and wing eyeliner out to here, and it, it it's a problem. I'm working on the problem, but it's a problem. So first I'm going to use, this is, I have to tell you first of all, these colors are gorgeous. This is Hello Salem, and that's a perfect crease color. This is one of my favorite, it's called Full Moon. You see that shimmer? And let me see, oh, the Coven is gorgeous. It's a brown metallic, a brown shimmer, not metallic, sorry. And I'm gonna go down with Wench down here. It's also beautiful, which is more of a silvery color. I'm gonna swatch these for you. One, two, why is that not coming out? Two, four, okay, and let me do full moon one more time. Full moon makes an excellent topper. And I don't know if you can see this, so let's see. It is, this is, this is full moon. Do you see the shimmer in, oh, it's bad lighting. Do you see the shimmer in that? It is so pretty and it goes on top of any eye look beautifully. And one more that I want to show you is I would say the names, but I can't pronounce half of them. Is this green? It is gorgeous. And now we're gonna go right there. And it's just a shimmer and it's beautiful and lovely. And I get lost. I get lost. I always know what one look I wanna do, different looks that I wanna do. It has a million opportunities with the browns, the blacks, the golds, the mauves, the silvers. The, I mean, it's, it's endless. However, for me, it's a problem. So I'm gonna go into Hello Salem, which is this, and I'm gonna put it all over uh, my eye. I haven't done a look like this in a minute. So we're just gonna go, and we're gonna put it all the way up to like the brow bone almost. This palette too does have a lot of fallout, so just be aware of that. And anyone who wants to know about my brushes, I got them at sheen shine however you say it and they were four for three dollars the only problem is this barrel is already coming off so i'm gonna i'm gonna crazy glue because i haven't even washed it yet and i don't like that so we're gonna put that all over and that is absolutely beautiful now for our there's not too many mattes and that's my one problem with this palette what i'm going to do is i just did hello salem i'm gonna go to on toast which is this matte right here and I'm going to place that 
with a packing brush into my crease and we're just gonna blend. So we're gonna dab, 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 dab. Put, 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 stay, 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 stay. And we're going to go a little something like this. Hit it. Na, 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 I do that all day long. I'm sorry. I know we're gonna do the same on the, on the other. First, let's fix this. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side and we're just gonna pat that in. And blend a little bit using the same brush. And now we're gonna to go to the other side. So that's okay. That's not bad. That's not bad. Let's go right there. And look at this. It just works. So if I was doing a neutral look, <laughs> which is so funny because I just can't seem to get that done lately, um, I would not go all the way out and wing it like I'm going to. Put it right there. I'm going to place that right under here to about two thirds of my eye and we're going to go on top and we're going to just love on it for a minute and blend it blend 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 and do that this has to be so boring to watch but look how pretty that looks and we're going to go do here without picking up any more product we are going to blend and we're going to go underneath the eye to about right there which is, I guess, your halfway mark. And again, if you don't know, I was bit by a dog and sometimes it looks patchy, but it's because I have a tooth mark in there. And we can clean it up later. Um, you should try and do your base makeup afterwards. This is a little too much cleaning up to do. Um, I'm not good at that. I have to have my face done first. Uh, they do sell eyeshadow guards that you can buy on Amazon. And I think you get like 50 for like $5. I could be making that up though, so don't quote me on it. And um, you just stick them underneath and any fallout would be on that then. And that would be terrific. You could also sharpen up your lines by using adhesive tape uh, for the eye. And that would be that, so. Now that I made this one so much larger and so much darker, we'll do the same on the other side and pretend that that's what we were going for all along. So that's that so far. What do you think? See that patchiness right there? I hate anything patchy. If I'm paying good money for a palette, I don't want my palette to be patchy. I don't want to have to work at it like that. Okay, so now I am going to, uh, you know, let me show you this black right there is a black shimmer. I don't like my shimmer in my outer corner. I don't know, can you see this? Yeah, you can see the sparkle in there. So I'm not going to use that because I don't want to smoke it out like that that much. But what I'm going to do, it's really pretty, we're going to go in with Bewitched, which is down here and is an olive green. I'm going to use that and this is what that one looks like. And this is me not even barely touching it. It's so, so pretty. So we're gonna go in with Bewitched. And I already have like the inspiration and now I'm really excited. So we're gonna take our angled brush. Our angled brush. Where did you go? Here's my angled brush. And I'm putting it in Bewitched. I'm concentrating most of the right there. And what I told you to do earlier is just stamp it and it will give you a good guide as to where you are gonna go. I'll do that on this side now too. So that's where we're starting. And we're gonna go a little bit under the brown, under, we want that somewhat on the lid, but without going up into the dark brown because we like the dark brown and we worked hard on the dark brown. So that's why. And cause I said so. No, I'm kidding. I didn't say so. There are no rules in makeup. So you just have to go and play. Um, da, 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 da. What do we? What do we think? I'm not sure. We're going to go a little bit further and we're going to go right to about here. About one third of your lid is going to be that green and 
much better. Okay, so we're gonna stamp and go under. And I don't know why, I'm sure you guys also find this. Do you have one eye that always looks better than the other? Um, I'm not a makeup artist or anything, I'm just a woman who likes to play with makeup. But I always find and always have found that one of my eyes always comes out better looking than the other. And I don't know why that is. I give them both love. I talk nicely to both of them. You know, I give them the attention they deserve. I don't rush them at all. And one just is like, bitch, please, that's, that's not happening today. All right, so this still to me looks very, there we go. All right, so that's that. We're going to do that. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put with my finger... Coven, which is actually let's see. All right, this is sparkly. This is uh, Yabados. I'm gonna put that right here in the middle because we really want that to like pop. And look, look at that. Whenever you use your fingers, um, it just makes such a difference. And we're gonna go about another third of the way, so we're just gonna leave a little bit there. And this is such a grungy palette that if you're in the mood for something grungy and beautiful and that works really well, this is it. Look at that. Look at that color. And I just love this. And you can take your finger and then blend it in to that. And we're going to do the same over there. Okay, and now for our inner third, what I want to do is put... I'm going to put um, do, 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 the full moon, which is this highlight one. I'm going to use it with my index finger because it's clean. And we're going to go like this. And we're just going to add that. And it is so pretty that you could use it all over your lid if that's the look you're going for. I just like to always have a bright spot. Now, you could also put this color... Um, on the inside and I mean on the outside and use this for the inside as a high low type effect and let's see I can't say for shit okay, let's do a little bit more because for some reason there we go I mean the formulation is ColourPop ColourPop is excellent they're known for uh, how great their palettes are now because I use that one, I have, I'm still, not, I'm still not happy with the way that came out. So I'm going to take, <laughs> take off my brush, take full moon on my brush and see if, there we go, it's a little damp. Let's see, we do that there. And we do that there. I think this side came out nicer than this side. I, like I said, my eyes, whatever. So then I'm going to take this gold chunky glitter. Glitter is not eye safe, so do not use it if you have a problem with it, but you just need to know ahead of time. And I'm putting that right on over, and we're going to create a sparkle because Lord knows we need glitter this time of year. Every time, if it makes you happy, do it. If it pisses someone else off, do it. But if it doesn't make you happy, and find out what does and be that person. So that's my little spiel for today. Um, any Somebody was asking me uh, how I got into positive affirmations and things like that, and that's why I call my channel Positively To Me. Look at that, you like that? I think it's so, so pretty with the sparkles on top. Um, and the reason I did was because there was a life-changing event that happened and I decided I'm going to take a powder brush and just get rid of the fallout underneath, which there is really not much considering. Now I'm going to use a brown eyeliner, which I had just gotten in my Blink Wink box. And I'm going to do a small wing <laughs> thing. And you're going to go through your waterline. And just because if you put on false mascara you always want and you're not gonna even see it do you see that little that little thing 
my eyeliner it never comes out the same so they are going to be distant cousins instead of twins uh, so as I was saying I, I had a life-changing event and I realized even though I'm a kind person I can be a little negative especially when it comes to myself and I was thinking one day and I was talking to my sister about it and if I can be your biggest cheerleader because I will support you in anything healthy that you need to do and I do that with all my friends all my family but yet I won't do it for myself that makes no sense and I decided one day with the help of therapy that that was no longer acceptable I'm a good person and I'm going to treat myself as well as I treat the strangers that I meet because sometimes we treat family worse than we treat people we don't even know and I don't know what that's about but that's not what I want to be so I do positive affirmations every day I think God and the universe every single day for all the blessings in my life because that's so important I have a vision board where are things I want to come true and will come true you just have to believe in it so what I believe in is manifesting I'm going to manifest the life that I want the life that I deserve and then I'm going to put on mascara mascara and my favorite mascara lately has been the essence extreme volume so I'm waterproof um, so that's why I want to be positive because I found that I have a lot of negative self-talk towards myself. I won't talk badly about other people, um, but I will talk badly about myself. And I'll be like, oh my god, I'm such an idiot. I can't believe how stupid I am. I can't believe I did that. I can't believe I didn't see it. Um, you know, maybe their bad mood and their bad behavior is my fault. And through therapy, I am learning that no, that's not my fault and I can only be responsible for my actions and my response to them. I can't be responsible for the way somebody perceives something and their actions and things like that, you know, and their bad behavior. And I'm gonna stop making excuses for people's bad behavior. But if it's warranted, <laughs> my cat's asleep, he's so cute. If it's warranted and it's something that I've done, I'm always the first to apologize because I don't like conflict, I don't like confrontation, and because of that, I usually say yes to things when I mean no. And then I get irritated and take it out on the people that I love, and I, there's nothing basically that you can say about me that I haven't already said about <clears throat> myself. And so now what happens when those negative thoughts come in, I try and replace them with something positive. So if I'm sitting there saying, oh my God, my life totally sucks. Uh, the answer is no, actually it doesn't suck. I am blessed in so many ways, it's not funny. So my, when that thought comes up, I'm like, okay, your life doesn't totally suck. Maybe you're having a bad day, but you're not having a bad lifetime. You're having a bad day. You're having a stint of bad days but it's not a bad lifetime and you just have to know that you're going to get through it no matter what it is and that's it you know there's always tomorrow you don't have to wait until tomorrow to start anything like diet no matter what it is you don't have to wait till tomorrow tomorrow is right now you are in control of your life your existence whatever so do that be that be the change you want to see be the woman, the man, the whatever you want to be, be that person to the best of your ability. Because nobody can be you, and I don't know what happened to my lashes, but you. And I lost my lashes. <laughs> I don't know where they went. So I'm going to line my lips in the meantime. And I think we should go definitely with a nude. I will get out of the nude thing soon, I promise. I'll line our lips. So I think that the time that you 
are in a bad situation, in bad situations that are lasting longer than you can handle or you think you can handle, just know that it's temporary and that there is a bigger blessing coming to you. So you just need to know that. And I need to find my lashes, so give me one second. So I started <laughs> putting on my lashes and we'll do this one on camera because I thought it was recording that whole time. Okay, look at that. Look at that. And now we're gonna take our tool and we're just gonna place it where we want it. And then we're gonna just jabber down on it or, you know, squish it down actually. You know, but you have to want to be the change that you want to see. You have to. This is really pretty. You have to be the change you want to see. I'm just going to put more eyeliner. And you have to be positive. You have to be proactive. Don't think just because you're manifesting something that it's going to come true if you just sit back and think that um, you don't have to put in any work that's so far from the truth. It's not funny. All right, my battery died for a second, but you still have to work towards your goal. And just know that things will get better every day. And the more you work towards them and the more you manifest things and the more scripting letters you do and the vision boards and all that, you know, it, it's, it's a blessing. It's a blessing to wake up every morning. And what I do is every morning I say my affirmations and I write them down. Um, and before I go to bed, I do my grateful journal, everything that I'm grateful for, just waking up with air in my lungs because so many people do not. Um, just, I'm grateful for my house, the roof over my head, the food in my refrigerator. I'm grateful that I have a room. I'm grateful I have you guys. And I am so thankful and blessed for my grandson and my family. And if you go out into the world and get out, exude that energy, it will come back to you a hundredfold, I promise. So here we stay positive. So I want you to be happy. I want you to be healthy. I want you to stay grateful. I want you to stay thankful. And most of all, I want you to be positively you. Thanks so much. Have a good night.